Hey y'all, it's Lindsay and I wanted to do a video showing you how I am setting up my bullet journal for the 2019 year. This will probably last me about, I don't know, between four and six months and I wanted to show you how I go about getting that organized. Alrighty, getting started, I am using my Minimalism Art a5 dot grid notebook as my bullet journal and I'm using the white jelly roll pen to write my name and the month in which I'm starting this bullet journal I will link the journals down in my description box if you are curious about these I felt like they were really well priced the next spread that I'm showing you here is going to be my year at a glance for 2019 and 2020 and I like the classic calendar look for this and I'm doing a Sunday through Saturday week. I find this really easy to reference um, just like days of the week and that sort of thing. If somebody asks me a question like, oh, can you do XYZ on this date? I can easily glance at that and it's just as easy to look at your phone. I get it, but for me this is somewhat therapeutic and enjoyable. So. That is part of the reason why I enjoy paper planning. And I do appreciate function over fashion when it comes to the bullet journal, but I also find lettering very entertaining and somewhat fun to play around with, so I do that on some of my pages. This spread that I'm now working on is called a Calendex. And if you are familiar with Kara from Boho Berry, then you've probably seen a Calendex before. And this is just a fantastic way for me to see the entire year of 2019 and be able to future plan in a bullet journal. Kara over at Boho Berry, she's got a blog, she's got a YouTube channel. I'm gonna be sure to link those in my description box. She does a much better job of explaining Calendex. And it's just, it's a really easy way to do future planning in a bullet journal. I personally do really appreciate the simplicity of a bullet journal and not getting too involved. If I wanted to have every single month laid out for me, with a predetermined number of pages, I would not be using the bullet journal. I do still enjoy those kinds of planners, hence the reason why I'm using the Recollections Planner as well. But the bullet journal for me is just a little bit different. It just seems to work really well with my brain for to-do lists and having those things available to me whenever I want. And that is definitely a a positive reason for me to use a bullet journal. The Calendex does seem somewhat tedious to get set up at first, but once you get it going and have it set up, it's set for the full year, obviously. But once your brain kind of is assimilated to using a Calendex, it becomes so second nature that you don't even realize that it was hard to do in the beginning. So now I'm going to set up my January monthly spread and I am numbering everything from 1 to 31 and then putting the initial of the day of that week uh, alongside of it. Very simple, very basic, totally along the Ryder Carroll method for bullet journaling. Seeing the month laid out like this really works well with my brain, but I do a lot better with it whenever I have my weeks divided up. 
So I went ahead and drew in lines from Sunday to Saturday just so that I would have a simpler time referencing what day of week it was. And this pen that I'm using is the Stabilo .88 gray pen. I really enjoy this one. I also used a pencil and a ballpoint pen from the Target dollar spot where it's like two per pack for a dollar. Love those ballpoint pens. I've got a ton of really nice pens, but I find myself often ignoring the rest just to pick up that particular ballpoint pen. So when you've got something that works, you stick with it. I don't usually do a whole lot with complicated spreads, but I did want a spot where I could track my weight and my habits for the month. So I decided to make a bar graph for my weight that I put up here at the upper right hand quadrant of this spread. And as I was recording this, my battery died. So I'm gonna have to just explain to you what I put on that lower quadrant. I decided that I only had six habits that I was really interested in focusing on for tracking. And I decided to make six separate little calendars that I will shade in with a colored pencil. I actually will be using a Pentel eight color pencil thing. And as you can see there, I've got hydrate, greens, 100% on plan for Trim Healthy Mama, movement or exercise, whether or not I took my vitamins, and Teamy Detox. Right now I'm really focused on getting these six areas of my life under control and making sure that I am keeping my list of things I'm trying to track small so that it's manageable for me. And I liked the idea of just having the separate little calendars instead of having a huge graph that I would fill in and just overwhelming myself with way too many habits to keep track of. So I like to keep it nice and simple. Um, and I didn't let my jelly roll pin dry totally before I flipped my page. So there is a little bit of transfer over here and I kept my very first page blank. No real purpose. I might put my, um, words of the year, my phrase of the year over here, but who knows? I still haven't finished actually solidifying what I want those to look like just because I'm not too pleased with how that turned out. So We'll see how it goes, but this is just my year at a glance for 2019 and 2020, which is crazy to think about. And then here's that Calendex. I still need to go in and clean up with an eraser. And then I've got this page or this spread here blank. I'm not really sure what I want to do with this just yet, um, but I'm sure I will figure that out. And then I really like the traditional bullet journal style. So here is January. I haven't filled anything in just yet. And here is what my um, just sort of health for the month is going to be. And then I will start my daily pages over here. So I like the simplicity of bullet journal. I like the no fuss, no muss. The pretty ones are so, so pretty, but I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. So to-do lists, um, tasks, um, phone calls to make, chores I want to get finished throughout the day, grocery lists, possibly my lesson list that we need to get through for that day, just all those things I'm keeping here. And the Calendex, I will be sure to link in my description where you can learn more about that because I know this looks very crazy to some people, but this really has been a great way for me to keep track of things throughout the year. And it just I don't know, I'm able to give myself more information on a Calendex than on just a year at a glance spread. So that is my bullet journal for 2019. If y'all are interested in me showing you this more regularly, I might be willing to do that. Um, it's really nothing special. It's literally the Ryder Carroll method for the daily side of things. 
and not super pretty, just more chicken scratch-esque. So it's, it's just real basic. I know that there are a ton of accounts that really get into bullet journaling and really um, making it very beautiful. And I, I am always so inspired by that. But when push comes to shove, I just really have to get down to the nitty gritty dailies of just lists really work well for me. So if that was interesting to you, I would appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to consider subscribing. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.